I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Okay? Now, I've taken off my yellow stickers, as you can see. Um, so they're black, okay? That's just how I white and black. Okay? I found this cube with the stickers already off, so, you know. Okay, here we go. So, well, you know, you can't solve a Rubik's Cube unless you have it scrambled, so. Okay, now that it's all scrambled, I'm going to start with the green cross. Normally, if you're going for a new record, you're going to have the one that has the most either of these in their correct place, or like where all you have to do is flip it up and it's in the right place. But for now, I'm just going to start off with the green cross. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to get these edge pieces in the green center, like connected, and have them correctly placed to the correct center. Now, let's say you have the green cross. Except, you have one problem. Two of them are switched. You don't have to dig them out, twist it, and then do it all again. What you can do is you can just move these two sides down, bring that out, and then move them back up. Now, you want to get this one in the white. So you turn it off like that, and you bring it down so you connect like that. So, yep, that's all you do is you bring that. And then you see the orange. So what you want to do is turn it off, connect those bars, bring both sides down, turn it so it connects, and then just bring them back up and they're all in the right place. See? Now sometimes from doing that, you will have one in the correct place. But if, say it's not in the correct place, you have, well, you have to get all the corners in the correct place. See, this one is in, it's just not in the correct spot. See, green, green, black, or in your case, yellow, orange, orange. So, those are the, I need to flip it around, like, flip the orange to here, keep the green there, but this has to be white, this has to be a white piece, so, You'll find green, orange, and white. Here it is. So all you have to do is bring it up, bring it back down. Now to get one out, you just do this. Up, over, down. That easy. So now you have green, red, and white. So you know that green is always on the bottom. So red, or red, and white. So you just do what I told you. Up, over, down. So green, black, red, or green, yellow, red. Green, red, black. It's simple as this. Up, over, down. Now you should be able to get the last one. Quite simple, but it's usually on the top. So you couldn't just do this, because then it wouldn't be fit the right way. So what you need to do is go, R, U, U, R inverted, U inverted, R, U, R inverted. And you should have that last piece in. Now to get the second layer completed, which would be these pieces, some people tend to flip it upside down. Do not do that. It will slow your time. 
So, I'm just going to start out with red and black, or red and yellow. So, is red connected to the red center? Black, black center. So you want to turn it away from the black, and then, so here's the, um, the algorithm. It's U, R, U inverted, R inverted, yeah, U inverted, F inverted, U, F. And that will always have this square completed, and you have now placed that. Now, if you want to get one on the left side, like, hold on. As you can clearly see, um, let's see, hold on. Black and orange, you do it off to the right side, because that way is right. So, you do that again. U, R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, F inverted, U, F. Come on. So, but if you wanted to get one end of the left side, see, orange or black and red, you have to get it that way, which is left side. So you pretty much do the same algorithm except you just reverse it. Hold on, I need to move my camera really quick. Okay, you just reverse it. So you inverted, and you don't move the right side, you move the left side. So, U inverted, L inverted, U, L, U, in, uh, U, F, U inverted, S inverted. Now you have it on the left side. So I'll do orange and white next. Remember, you always want to move it off to the side that is opposite of what's on the top. So, yellow. Well, in my case, black. So what you do, the same thing. U, R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, S inverted, U, and then S. And, yep, and then there's one more, as you can see. So I'll always move it off to the opposite of what's on the top. So opposite of red is orange. So U R U inverted R inverted U inverted F inverted U inverted or U sorry F. And then now you have all the edge pieces. Now what you want to do is you want to either have a line and put that in the middle, not like this, but like this, and so you do this algorithm. Well, okay, so this is what you can do. You use the same algorithm for each one. Well, okay, hold on. So you either want a backwards L or a line. One, two, three. So, backwards L. So, what you do is you do F, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, F inverted. And now you have that line. So, if you already have the line, then you're lucky. You only have to do that algorithm once. Now you have to do it again, since you have the since you have the uh, line. So, what you do, remember, is S, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, S inverted. And you should have the cross on the top. I have these two in the right place, but, like, just not exactly where they're supposed to be. So now you want to find a corner piece that's in the right place. See, none of them are in there, so if you have no corner pieces in the right place, then all you want to do is you want to do U, R, U inverted, L inverted, U, R inverted, U inverted, L. 
and you should have one in place, see? It just, it doesn't have to be flipped the right way either, so, see, orange and orange, blue and blue, black and black, or in this case, or sorry, in your case, yellow and yellow. So you want to do that again, except with this one in the right corner, so my right corner, so, once again, the algorithm is U, R, U inverted, L inverted, U, R inverted, U inverted, L. Now, you see, well, sometimes you have to do that twice. But now, I have this still in the right place, just not flipped the right way. Right place, not flipped the right way. Right place, flipped the right way. And right place, not flipped the right way. So what you want to do is you want to start with one of the ones, one of the the corner pieces that is not flipped the right way. And you want to do R inverted, D inverted, R, D, until you have another blue piece up here. So R inverted, D inverted, R, D. R inverted, D inverted, R, D. R inverted, D inverted, R, D. But now you have this. So you don't want to turn the cube. You want to keep it facing the same way. You just want to turn the top layer. R inverted, D inverted, R, D. 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 Now you have that. Sometimes it will only take two times of the R inverted, D inverted, R, D. But this is just not one of my cases. So once again, it will take four. R inverted, D inverted, R, D. 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 Now, you just spin that till it's solved. That's how you solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube.